It's the start of another day of recycling on streets across Wiltshire. By the end of today, the county's recycling campaign will have diverted around 250 tonnes of what would once have been waste from landfill. From paper, cans and bottles to cardboard plastics and green garden waste, it all now gets recycled. Along with waste to energy, recycling is at the forefront of Wiltshire Council's successful War on Waste. In a typical year, it adds up to about 116,000 tonnes that no longer needs to go into holes in the ground. Since 1996, the Council's contractor, Hills Waste Solutions, has diverted over one million tonnes of waste that would once have been buried. And half of that has come in the last four years, as the pace has accelerated. And what's more, the push to turn rubbish into a resource is still intensifying. The county has already achieved a recycling rate of 41%, and it aims to lift that to 50% by 2014. Today's collection is focused on cardboard and plastics, which are the more recent additions to Wiltshire's curbside campaign. Meanwhile, just a few streets away, Hills is also building on its services to businesses with this Red Top Recycler initiative. Its aim is to enable people to recycle at work in the same way they do it at home. The big plus for businesses is that they don't need to separate and store bulky recyclables. The material, much of it cardboard and paper, just goes into the big red-topped bin and Hills takes it away for sorting. The household collections are equally simple at source. Cardboard and plastic bottles all go into one bin at home and into one compartment on the lorries. Separation takes place at Hill's new facility on the Port Marsh Industrial Estate in Carn, which currently handles more than 40 tonnes a day. Lorries take it in turn to drop their loads. From the reception bay, the mixed materials are loaded first onto a conveyor, where a series of rollers remove the larger and more valuable cardboard. The remainder of the mixed material falls onto another conveyor where operators work in teams to hand-pick materials that cannot be recycled. Then comes the really clever bit. An optical separator which uses near-infrared technology to identify the different grades of plastics through their molecular structure. It takes no more than a millisecond to identify the bottle types and to send a signal to tiny jets of air which shoot the material into different collection bays. Around 4 million bottles pass through this plant every month. Keeping the different plastics apart is important because the high-density polyethylene used for heavier bottles is significantly more valuable in recycling terms than the lighter polyethylene terephthalate plastics used for soft drinks bottles. The street collection service is focused on bottles quite simply because they're made of good quality plastics that are ideal for reprocessing. Other plastics such as ice cream tubs, yoghurt pots, food trays and plant pots are not so good for recycling. It helps greatly if you don't include them in your bin. Tetrapacks or waxed cartons similarly have to be weeded out from this process, but you can take them along with your other plastics to collection points at your local household recycling centre. It's a similar story with cardboard. What is not wanted is the polystyrene and other packaging that may have come with your new telly. Back at the sorting centre, it's time to bale up the different materials ready to go off for reprocessing. The cardboard goes to mills in Kent where it is pulped, much of it returning in corrugated form. Every tonne recycled saves 17 trees and it can be recycled up to five times. Meanwhile, the plastics go to a plant in Leicestershire for reprocessing. Once recycled, the lighter bottles may well come back again in the same way, carrying soft drinks, but the range of other potential uses typically includes polyester clothing, like this fleece. It takes just 25 2-litre plastic bottles to make one fleece. 
The higher density plastic could be bottles once again, or they might be grocery bags or other plastics products. Just a short while ago, all this material was being buried in the ground where plastic bottles take 500 years to break down. Now, plastics and cardboard, along with all the other recyclables, have an infinitely more sustainable future. Today, they are no longer a waste.